today, we will see some misconceptions related to the following concepts of geometry. Misconception 1. How many lines are there in the following figure? Sometimes, students think that ray can also be a line. So, they think that the lines in the given figure are OA, OB, OC, OD, OE, OF, OG and OH. Counting them, they find out that there are 8 lines. With this understanding, they choose option 1, which is an incorrect answer. The correct answer is that there are 4 lines in the given figure, such as line AE, line BF, line CG and line DH. Therefore, the correct answer is option 2. To find out the correct answer, it is necessary to understand the difference between a ray and a line. A line neither has a starting point nor an ending point. That means it extends to infinity on both sides. So two arrows are made on both sides to represent a line. If we talk about a ray, it starts from a point and extends to infinity. That is why the beginning of a ray is marked with a point. And on the other side, an arrow is drawn to show that the ray extends to infinity. Here, OA, OB, OC, etc. are rays. In brief, we can say that a line has two arrows and a ray has one arrow. Sometimes, students also think that a ray can also be a line segment. But this also is not the correct understanding. The starting position of a ray is fixed, which is represented by the starting point, but its end is not fixed. That is why an arrow is made at the other end of the ray. The starting and ending points of a line segment are fixed. That is why points are made at both ends of a line segment. Since a ray extends to infinity, its length is not fixed, but a line segment has a fixed length. Therefore, we can say that ray cannot be a line segment. Misconception 2. Which of the following figure represents a line? Sometimes, students find it difficult to understand the difference between a line segment and a line. They think that a line can be represented by putting dots on both ends and a line segment is represented by putting arrows on both ends. With this understanding, Children think that option 1 represents a line, so they choose option 1 as the answer, which is incorrect. A line extends to infinity on both sides. To display it, we put arrows on both sides of it. The shortest path between two points is called a line segment. Therefore, the fixed distance of a line segment is expressed by putting dots on both ends. Similarly, some students fail to give names in the correct way to a line segment, line or ray. They simply give AB as the name of the given line segment or line or ray. They don't think it is necessary to draw a line segment, line or ray on top of AB and simply ignore it. By giving names in this way, we cannot differentiate between a line segment, a line or a ray. Therefore, it is very important to name them in a correct way. We write a line segment like this, a line like this and a ray like this. Today, we have seen some misconceptions related to the following concepts of geometry.